everybody and welcome back to a another derail valley vr video now last time we brought this little doot this little be4 we brought it up to here to try and rescue our stranded train which is stranded as you can see on this horseshoe right here unfortunately this thing just doesn't have the beans to to rescue it so we've had to come up here to the iron mine to hopefully take a job the thing is our dude here is out of diesel and the closest diesel service is the coal mine and I don't think this little dude can haul that all the way down to the coal mine. I just don't think it's going to reach. So we're going to have to pay to have it, um, it manually serviced. Luckily, it's only 22 grand, so that's not too bad. We can do some shunting, which is what this thing is designed for. It's designed for shunting in a yard. So we're going to go ahead and see if they have any jobs that'll get us like 20 grand. And maybe we can repair our dude with that. See, there's a freight hall. There's some shunting. 13 grand shunting. See, there we go. That is what we want. Unload the excavators. So we'll go unload the excavators that sounds good yeah i haven't really done any shunting up here before so should be quite fun i'm just gonna take these excavators and shunt them away so let's see where's our i guess our load unload track would be over there yeah this is probably our load unload track yeah one loading i'm guessing this is where they want the excavators yeah you see right there it says iron ore and excavators so we'll go ahead and get the excavators over there and yeah we don't have that much electric juice left but we should hopefully be able to make do with what we got when what we got ain't really a whole lot oh yeah gotta turn you on i mean we're like a quarter way down i mean maybe it could have hauled it but i think we'll just have better luck doing this go ahead and crank our headlights to full because we're shunting in the rain with the cute little shunter dupe yeah again this, i mean this is what this thing is designed for shunting in a yard on flat track so hopefully we shouldn't have any problems shunting in a yard with a flat track yeah yeah this, this thing couldn't really handle up any grade i mean it does okay light engine but i'm trying to pull anything up a grade yeah, good luck i actually didn't even bother checking its load rating i bet it's bet it's in here yeah there you go be2 yeah it's only rated 100 tons up a two percent <laughs> only a only 100 tons bang okay only rated 100 tons and 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 it's wet too so yeah no way there we go go ahead and get all that pressurized and i guess we're just shoving this of course the brick's on the other side yeah i think we're we're shoving this because we need to yeah this is just a, this isn't like a a loop this is just a oh no it is a loop oh no it's a big old loop it's a big old loop straight through the coal tower oh okay so now we can back this up i didn't think we'd be able to do that but guess what we can so other way go ahead and crank up some sand there we go again this load is yeah it's 161 tons so easily within the capability of this thing again this is 800 tons on flat yard track i mean it is wet but until we got some sand and again it's not that heavy so there we go beans it yeah 112 volt lead acid battery two dc traction motors the self-lapping valve Dual face and closed cab remote and on-demand delivery. Ease of operation, shunting score, very good shunting score. But a very low hauling score, yeah, as we found out. Again, if only we could run a DH4, because there's a DH4 in this yard, if only we could run that, then we'd be, we'd, we'd, be, we'd be set. Oh, it's technically all of this track A1L? I guess it is all A1L. Oh, well, I guess we'll just get right next to the thing. Apparently this is all A1 loading track. Yeah, if only that DH4 was like, you know, like an S282 or even another DM3 would be nice. But it's okay, this thing's handling this load of excavators. It's pulling it through. <laughs> All the excavators going for a little ride. All the excavators are going for a ride. Alrighty, so now we can go ahead and turn on the job and begin the countdown. So we'll go ahead and turn in the excavators. So we want one of them on C4I and, I oh don't know, A1 loading track. Yep, they want one set on B1S and then one set on C1S. Okay, so I'm guessing B yard is probably this yard right here, isn't it? Yeah. So kicking and pulling straight through. Okay, so what do we have here? We have the C, okay, the C3, that's the one they want in C yard. 
The two guys on the end here, they went in C yard. Yeah, so I guess that works. We'll just pull straight through B1S and then just, yeah, drop these and shove back. Seems easy enough. It's not a complicated yard layout. Bam. And now that these are empties, this thing should do a way better job at pulling them. Stop honking! Why are you still honking? Okay, fine, I won't touch the horn. Like, ever. Again. Oh. Okay, so what are they? What track do they want again? B1. Okay. Probably this track where there's cars in it. Yeah, probably this one with cars in it. No, that's B4. Okay, B1 is the one all the way over here. But guess what? It's got cars in it. So I'll have to shove all the way. If I don't think this thing will get going fast enough to do any sort of Dutch dropping, we can just do that. I mean, to make our lives a little bit easier, we can just go ahead and pair the remote. Oh, here comes the doot. Watch out, here comes the doot. The doot. Watch out, here comes the doot. The doot. <laughs> 17. Beans in it. Absolutely beans in it. So yeah, what we can do is just wait by the switch, wait for all these cars to pass, and then back it on up. Actually, this switch is the only one to wait by. Grind into a halt. Slowly throttle it up. There it comes. Turn my dick here nice and gently. Just gotta shove these cars a little bit. Bang. There we go. Those will stop there. And we can uncouple and throttle it up. Yeah, there we go. We got these two cars now going. Piece of cake. Yeah, those should be. Those are pretty well spotted. All right, so now I'll just pull up past the switch up here. And yeah, this thing automatically ties handbrakes and stuff, so that's one of the convenient things about using the remote. Oh, there's some train brake. Alrighty, and one S. That's what they wanted. So it looks like we're gonna get to do some kicking. Yes, kicking is good. Good and fun. For everyone. Bye. <laughs> He's in neutral. Alrighty. Actually, we'll just go ahead and c continue bringing you back, I guess. There we go. So now that will just line straight down the middle there. Job's a good in. Job's a good in here as well. Beautifully done. So we'll go ahead and put in our job. Bam, nine minutes, got 20K, so we can pay off our DM3. Bam, I know we can service it manually, but it's kind of in a bad spot. So, shaboom, shabang. We can now buy licenses if we wanted to, but we can't afford it. Our dude's running away. You know, all the things that's not quite ideal. You know, all the things that could be going better in your life. I guess we'll just line you back into the little maintenance shed. Because we might, we'll probably end up running the DM3 up here and taking a load out of here, because I don't know if we'll have anything good at the military. So we'll just, like, sh shove this dude on the back of our train, and that way, you know, we won't have to worry about leaving him behind. But 
Okay, I might as well get him serviced up while we can. I say so. Bonk. Yeah, that's good enough. Let's go find our little diesel doot. Our little doot the diesel. So. Alrighty, there we go. Engine starts. Lovely. Give me some wipers, please. Alrighty, and let's just, we'll head down here. We'll turn around at the uh, military base's turntable, because they have one of those for some reason. And then we'll back up and grab all the stuff that we left behind. Mind the turntable. Gosh. Who didn't freaking line the turntable, man? It still works, I guess. We broke the light, though. Darn it, military. You think that's real funny? Ha ha. Ha ha. The turntable's not lined. Ha ha. How much damage is it? It's only got like 20% left. You got to be kidding me, dude. Either way, if it can get a load up a mountain, it can get a load up a mountain. And the light, we got that. So, you know what? It'll work. Although, I guess we don't really need the wipers anymore. Yeah, you can, you can turn those off. Is it wrong for me to think that the turntable should have been aligned? Although, then again, I don't know if we would have been able to stop in time either way. We were just like sliding the wheels flat. I mean, we're coming in there so quick. Oh, well. Luckily, if we slam into our cars really hard now, it won't matter. Because we're already destroyed. There's our cars. Perfect. Okie dokie. Couple, couple. Couple, 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 couple. Alrighty, we're rolling back. We have to go grab the other cars all the way down over here <laughs> the rest of it oh i left your brakes on <laughs> yeah no way you're holding all this it's just your independent <laughs> yeah this is a very steep grade it's like it's almost a three percent i think but your standard gauge is quite a bit but this thing did fine climbing up so hopefully it'll do fine with only 20 percent condition <laughs> yeah not ideal I gotta turn the engine off. I want it to re-pressurize the brake system. Kind of forgot about that. Yeah, it's almost like the engine runs the air compressor to, like, I don't know, recharge the brakes after you dump them. So we tied that one. How many of these did we tied? I think we just tied the front one and the caboose, which may not have been enough. <laughs> I guess we're gonna soon find out. It's rolling. <laughs> Slowly. Rolling. Slowly, but but rolling. It's slowly rolling, but um, it, it, it's, it's still rolling. Tie like all these brakes just to hold it. So I needed like three more brakes. Okay, all right, is this gonna start rolling now? <laughs> Maybe if I give it a bit of something, something. And there's a brake somewhere. It's not that. That's a ply. Unless I left this pipe dumped. No, that's closed. No, that looks fine. What is? What is your problem? Oh, come on, please. Seriously? Bleed you. Bleed you. Bleed you. Okay, there we go. Some, I don't know, for some reason the air. Something's messing up with the air. I guess what I'll do is I'll dump it again, maybe? I don't know. Let's just grab that. Dump both the brakes. Okay. Release. Release. Release, and then world's strongest handbrake. Release. Okay. Nothing else should be tied or applied. I'm just gonna go to here and like fully purge the air out. There's got, is there like a leak in the system somewhere? There might be a leak in the system somewhere or something. I don't know. Or you know, maybe our air pump broke. Oh, you know what? We could have broke the air pump. 
perhaps, and therefore it can't. That could explain it. So we'll have to go through and manually bleed everything. Oh goodness, that's gonna be... Sure, yeah. Main res. Yeah, we, we don't have a main res. Okay, noted. Okay, so that's why the brakes are a little bit fricked up. We do not have a main res. Okay, you see, it's fine, because what we're gonna do is we don't need brakes. Brakes are overrated. So what are, what are those? You can't even release your own brakes, hold up. There we go. Alrighty, do I need to bleed any of these box cars? No, they all sound fine. Let's listen, do we hear any brake squeakies? No. Okay, so we have a train without brakes. Climbing up a mountain. It's fine, don't worry about it. It's fine. Where we're going, we don't need brakes. Brakes, what are those? They slow the train down? Ah, don't need them. Don't need them. Don't need them. Okay, right, where do they want these? So they want those in B4. And they want those in the B6. Okay. B4 and B6. So they're like right next to each other. Yeah, main res, what's that? <laughs> you hit the train so hard you broke the main res. In terms of main res, we have no main res. <laughs> yeah, it's that one bar. It's atmospheric. <sighs> Same with the brake pipe. Atmospheric. Although it looks like somewhere there's a vacuum. There's zero. That might be in the rail cars. I'm not sure. Or that's just the amount we're applying, right? So if I, if I like actually move this, like that'll move, that'll move that thing. It does nothing though, because we have no air. Maybe doing something. It sounds like it's doing something, but I, I, I don't think it's doing anything. There's no air, so you know, it's fine. Don't worry about it. We'll make it to our destination. And what we can do is. When we pull up past the military, we can just we can just roll these in. <laughs> yeah, we'll have this dude continue on to the iron mine, and we'll use the money to fix it up again. At least it won't we won't have to pay for it because well we still have fuel, I think. Yeah, we'll still we'll still have enough fuel. Now we need to fix the um the windows. Oh yeah, and the main res too. It's slightly important there. Kind of need that to, need that fixed. Just just a little bit. Just a, just a wee bit. You know, we'd like to get that fixed. But I mean, I guess what we can do right now is we're not using it, right? So, you know, like, what's what's the point of any of that, you know? We're not using it. Well, once we get past the switch, I can get enough cars past the switch, I'll just pull the, pull the thing, the spindly thing. Pull the pin. Although it's not a pin, it's a chain. I'll spin the chain and have that come off. And the cars, they'll roll up with their own momentum for as much as they can, and then they'll start rolling back. And then what we'll do is maybe we'll set one brake on these uh, these heavy cars, and then we can uh, you know set switches and and do all that, and try and do that before this thing gets too far down the line. It shouldn't get too far. I guess one issue would be leaving our caboose. So we'll just go ahead and take care of that right now. We'll leave that right there. It'll be right. It'll be waiting for us. Okay. Bye. Okay, I'll just. Throttle you down a little bit. Beef has stopped. Never mind. I shouldn't have did it. was too soon. I got too excited. Oh, frick, how do we slow down now? Right handbrake sort of thing. Right. No, I got the caboose off, but then I forgot, you know, like, kind of the rest of the train needs to get over the switch. <sighs> Freaking objects in real life that aren't in the VR world. Smashed my thumb. Yeah, it's a long train. It's actually longer than I thought it was. There we go. Now we're clear. And they're rolling back. ahead and get out ahead of this. Make sure we're not lining ourselves into the turntable, because that would be not ideal. This one's going on the B6. The B6, the B6. Okay, and that one is all the way over, 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 over. And then the other one was going on B4, which I believe is just one switch. Yeah, just this one switch. Okay. Oh dear, they are coming in here quick.
Okay, let's switch that. How are those doing? They are still going. Oh dear, what's this? We have like an underground area? There's like a whole underground area? My gosh, we did not. Well, these are on the loading track now. Okay, where are those other cars? There they are. I see them. Yeah, these ones are going a lot slower. Because we got one of the brakes applied. Yeah. Okay, so that worked. I would say that one worked well. The other one, we'll go get it later, because there is there is still a DM3 on the main line. But there we go. One of your loads is here. Yes, I know it's super late for whatever. 20k. Nice. And I'm guessing you probably won't take that. No, you definitely won't. Yeah, might may not be on the right track or something. Alrighty, where's that diesel mechanical duke gone? Where's he run off to? There he is. Look at that, he hasn't even made it there yet. See, so yeah, when we come back to get our caboose, we'll just come, we'll come, we'll come grab it. We'll, come, we'll, we'll finish that job. Cause yeah, it is, it's all the way freaking in, um, yeah. Whatchamacallitville. I didn't realize there was a whole like, like underground area to the military base. It's kind of cool actually. I guess that's where the actual military base is, is like in the, in the tunnel. So, so that's pretty neat. But yeah, that was a lot of flat cars. Flat cars, I didn't think they got up to some speed for just being some flat cars. And I mean, I, I mean, I guess there was a lot of them. I guess there was quite a few of them. I should have maybe tied a couple more handbrakes on them. But then, you know, again, I was worried that they, I mean, that, there, there was plenty, like, like there was plenty of separation. I just couldn't get them to tie all the handbrakes quick enough. If they had air, that would have been good because we could have dumped the air. But again, they, they, they didn't have any air. But I, I guess it's fine. They didn't, they didn't. They didn't hit the backstop too hard, so they're not that. They, they probably didn't take any damage. If only they had a train there, you know, they could. They could jump those cars. But uh, oh well. They're there now. Yeah, I think once we get back here and fix up this choo-choo, I think I'm gonna call it there. Cause yeah, doing some shunting earlier today as well. That's probably gonna be good enough for a video, I would say. I mean, really, now we just need to get the shunter down to the military base and rescue those other cars. And the lights don't work anymore either, probably. No, they don't. None of them do. Nothing works on this train anymore. That's fine. Like, if we didn't have some repairing to do, and we could get that other job turned in, like, that's... That's, a dis that's this DH4 right here. And just, you know, leave this DM3 here and just take that. And maybe there's some more shunting we can do around here next time, but... I mean, maybe there's some more some, some more excavators literally just spawned. Maybe we can do another excavator shunt. <laughs> you know, maybe load up some gondolas. I don't know if they have more shunting jobs. We'll do some dupe shunting. These look like empty gondolas right there. Yeah, these are empty. So yeah, there might be a shunting job to fill those. And that would be enough to buy the DH4. Before even, before even returning the military contract. Maybe just leave it in the military yard for a bit. It's there. We got some shunting at the iron yard to do. Okay. Yeah, just the body. And, I mean, most of the mechanical powertrain. The mechanical powertrain, wheels, the body. I don't think we can afford that, actually. 41. No, I can't afford. Yeah, mechanical powertrain still works. Okay, we can barely afford that. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna have to pay able to do some shunting in order to fix the mechanical powertrain. But other than that, everything else is fixed. The lights work now, and the main res probably. So I'd say that's probably good enough. So, anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe for new videos, have a great day, get rest of your day, and yeah, next time we'll probably do some shunting around here. I'm guessing they'll probably, I'm guessing they probably have more shunting jobs just based on what we're seeing out in the yard. Oh yeah, look, we got three different shunting jobs here. Two different, um, preparing trains with iron ore, and then another, uh, unloading excavators. So, with all that and time bonuses, that would probably be decent. Yeah, maybe, 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 maybe we'll be able to afford a DH4, and then take the DH4 and haul on out of here. Maybe. Just maybe. We'll see. Um, probably not, though, because, again, this thing is costing a lot of money to repair. I blame the military. <laughs>